What's up guys, More Medic one and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to quickly and easily adjust the throttle cables on a steel and an echo trimmer. I'm gonna to try to get this all in one shot. Here's the throttle cable back here and I'm gonna reach up here and I'm going to actuate the throttle cable. And as you can tell, I am almost I'm almost full throttle and I'm not even moving the carburetor yet. I'm going to depress the throttle fully. As you can tell, we are not at wide open throttle. We still have quite a bit of throttle to go. And I even slipped out the the cable is so loose. Now, right up underneath this orange cover, we don't have to take this off. And I'll show you how to adjust this in a minute, but I wanna show you how this works. A lot of people don't understand how the adjustment actually works. So right through the top of the trimmer here, we have an adjustment screw. And that screw fits right here. And what this thing is going to do is cams on this pivot right here up and down. And when you adjust the screw, it pivots this cam up and down. So if you turn the screw in, it's going to move this cam up, which is going to take the slack out of the cable. So all I'm gonna use is my T27 scrunch that comes with the tool, the, the trimmer. We're going to put it down here on the screw head. Now I'm going to turn that screw clockwise. You won't be able to see me turning the screw, but watch the carburetor throttle right here and it will start moving up into the throttle barrel. We're almost there. I need to adjust it just a little more. As you can tell, when we squeeze the throttle, we're still not at wide open throttle. So we're going to turn it, just another turn, recheck. Almost wide open throttle. I'm gonna go another half a turn. And there we are. That is wide open throttle right there. So what you don't want to do is tighten this up to the point to where it's trying to pull the carburetor open. You want enough slack in the cable to where you still have adjustment here for your curb idle. So this is how I like to set it. I like to set it where it's just a little bit slack inside the carburetor furrow there, the barrel. And so when you give it full throttle, you're at full throttle, you're able to snap it and the throttle cable doesn't fall out. The throttle cable just stays put. You want about, oh, a 16th of an inch play or less in your cable. You want, like I said, you want enough play to be able to uh, have enough room for adjustment. I'm gonna use this Echo here for a demonstration piece. I kinda of wanna show you some of the issues that I see with throttle cables. This engine's burnt up, it ain't got no compression. But however, let's get the air filter off and let me show you some of the issues that I see on these. I see a lot of these guys take these trimmers on and off the trailer or even using them and they'll jerk this throttle cable and just pull on it and it bends the bracket here on the carburetor. A lot of times you can just take and bend it back by hand Like so. But here's how you adjust a echo throttle cable. Whenever you crack these jam nuts loose, the throttle cable itself is threaded. So whenever you 
loosen these up, you can actually move this throttle cable in and out. So if you want to tighten the cable, you would want to move the cable this away to tighten it. To loosen it, you would want to move the throttle cable this away. See how that works? So basically you're just moving the outer sheath of the cable to tighten or to remove the slack from the cable itself. So you can tell I'm at almost wide open throttle and I'm barely moving the carburetor. It's pretty straightforward if we want to tighten the cable, we want to move the cable back and then tighten up your jam nut. You can just hand tighten it for now and then check your throttle to see if you have full range of motion. And right here in the barrel or in the furrow, you want about a 16th inch of play. And as you can tell, we're still not at wide open throttle because we got about that much more to go. All right, we are at wide open throttle right there. So at that point, you would just cinch down your nuts. And then you're good to go. A 10 millimeter, by the way. Guys, we got the throttle cables adjusted properly on a steel and an echo so you got a two for today and hey if this content helped you out please give me a subscribe and uh, smash that uh, bell to get all my new videos catch you guys on the next one